So we're going to go through the light uh, flyweight division. Um, a little bit of history first. Um, so the WBC <clears throat> introduced the light flyweight division, which is 108 pounds in 1975. And he must have immediately be regretted it as the second fight for their championship. So basically proved an embarrassing fiasco. So Rafael Lovera of Paraguay with an extremely persuasive manager was installed as number one contender for the title. And when the inaugural champion uh, Franco Udella Failed to defend against him, Udella was forfeited as champion, and Lovera faced Luis Sestaba, <coughs> a 34-year-old, 34-year-old grandfather from Panama, for the vacant title. So Esteban won easily, prompting the WBC to investigate the impressive record which Lovera's manager had used to manoeuvre his man to number one spot. It transpired that Lovera had never had a professional fight in his life, despite the inauspicious start to his reign. Esteban went on to make 11 successful defences, a reign which earned the new division some degree of credibility. The WBA crowned their first champion within four months of the WBC starting the division. And soon produced one of the most outstanding champions of the decade, a Japanese Yoko Gushikun. And as expected, the division had been dominated by the Mexican and Oriental fighters with the American Michael Carvajal being a notable exception. So, gonna go and go straight through here. So, April the 4th, 1975, Franco Udella from Italy wins by disqualification against Valentin Martinez from Mexico in Milan, Italy. August 1975, the WC withdrew recognition for Odella for failing to defend against Rafael Lovera. That's the one we just spoke about. So, September the 13th, 1975, Luis Esteba from Venezuela wins by KO in the fourth round against Rafael Lovera from Paraguay in. Caracas for the vacant title. So December the 17th, 1975, Luis Esteba wins. Referee stops the match in the 10th round against Takanubu Shimabakuro from Japan. 10th round stops in favour of Esteba in Okinawa, Japan. And just going back to Lovera fight, if Lovera had no fights, um, him and Peter Radabach are the only two to have no pro fights and fight for a world title. I'm sure they're a select club, even though Radamacher was the Olympic champion, that's the difference there. But uh, let's go. So February the 14th, 1976, Luis Esteba wins on points over 15 rounds against Leo Palacios from Mexico in Caracas, Venezuela. May the 2nd, 1976. Luis Esteba wins on points over 15 rounds against Jean Alvarez from Mexico in Caracas, Venezuela. Then June 17th, 1976, Luis Esteba wins by KO against Franco Udella in Maracay, Venezuela. 
in September the 26th, 1976, Luis Destaba wins in the 10th round by retirement against Rodolfo Rodriguez from Argentina in Caracas, Venezuela. November the 21st, 1976, Luis Esteba wins in the 10th round. The referee stops the match against Valentin Martinez from Mexico in Caracas, Venezuela. Then May the 15th, 1977, Luis Esteba wins... Uh, May the 15th, 1977, Luis Esteba wins. May the 15th, 1977, Luis Esteba wins on points over 15 rounds against Rafael Pedroza from Panama in Caracas, Venezuela. Then July the 17th, 1977, Luis Estebar wins on points over 15 rounds against Ricardo Estepinan from Colombia in Puerto La Cruz, Venezuela. Then August 21st, 1977, Luis Estebar wins in the 11th round. Referee stops the match against Jean Alvarez as in Puerto La Cruz, Venezuela. September the 18th, 1977, Luis Esteba wins by KO over 15 rounds against Orlando Hernandez. That was in Caracas, Venezuela. October the 30th, 1977, Luis Esteba wins on points over 15 rounds against Netranoi Varasingh. From Thailand. 15 rounds points decision over Varusing in Caracas, Venezuela. Then we got February the 19th, 1978. Freddy Castillo from Mexico wins in the 14th round. Referee stops the match against Luis Esteba in Caracas, Venezuela. Esteba being from Venezuela in his hometown gets stopped in the 14th round by Castillo. May the 6th, 1978, Nutranoi Furasing from Thailand wins on points over 15 rounds against Freddy Castillo in Bangkok, Thailand. Then, July 29th, 1978, Nutranoi Varasingh wins in the fifth round by retirement against Luis Destaba from Venezuela. That was in Venezuela. He's beat on his home ground again. Crackers, Venezuela. June the 30th, 1978, Sung Jung Kim from Korea wins by KO in the third round against Netranoi Burasing from Thailand. Third round KO for Sung Jung Kim from Korea in Seoul, Korea. March the 31st, 1979, Sung Jung Kim draws over 15 rounds with Hector Mel Melendez from Dominican Republic in Seoul, Korea. July, July 28th, 1979, Sung Jun Kim wins on points over 15 rounds against Stoney Karapu from the Philippines in Seoul, Korea. Then October 21st, 1979, Sung Jung Kim wins on points over Hector Melendez in 15 rounds in Seoul, Korea. Then January the 3rd, 1980, Shigeo Nakajima from Japan wins on points over 15 rounds against Sung Jung Kim from Korea in Tokyo, Japan. Then March 24th, 1980, Hilario Zapata from Panama wins on points over 15 rounds against Shigeo Nakajima in Tokyo, Japan. Then June 7th, 1980, Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against Chibok Kim from Korea in Seoul, Korea. August the 4th, 1980, 
Hilario Zapata wins and points over 15 rounds against Hector Melendez in Caracas. September the 17th, 1980, Hilario Zapata wins. In the 11th round, referee stops the match against Shigio Nakajima in Gifford, Japan. December the 1st, 1980, Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against Reynaldo Berquera from Venezuela in Caracas, Venezuela. February 8th, 1981, Hilario Zapata wins in the 13th round. Referee stops the match against Joey Olivo from the US in Panama City. April the 24th, 1981, Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against Rudy Crawford from the US in San Francisco. August the 15th, 1981, Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against German Tours from Mexico and Panama City. November the 6th, 1981, Hilario Zapata wins in a 10th round. Referee stops the match against Netronoi Burasing from Thailand in Karat, Thailand. February 6th, 1982, Amado Ursua from Mexico wins by KO. Again, in the second round against Hilario Zapata and Panama City, Panama. April the 13th, 1982, Tadashi Tomori from Japan wins on points over 15 rounds. It's Amado Ursua in Tokyo, Japan, July the 20th, 1982. Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against Tadashi Tomori in Kanazawa, Japan. July 20th, 1982. Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against Tadashi Tomori. In Shonju, Korea. September the 18th, 1982. Hilario Zapata wins on points over 15 rounds against Jungku Chang from Korea in Shonju, Korea. March the 26th, 1983. Jungku Chang wins in the third round by KO against Hilario Zapata. In Dijon, Korea. June the 11th, 1983, Jungku Chan wins in the second round. Referee stops the match against Masaharu Dihya from Japan in Tiga, Tiago, Korea. September the 10th, 1983. Jungku Chan wins on points over 12 rounds against German Tours. In Diajong, Korea. March the 31st, 1984. Jungku Chan from Korea wins and points over 15 rounds against Sochi Kelda from Thailand in Pusan, Korea. August the 18th, 1984. Jungku Chan wins in a ninth round. Referee stops the match against Katsuo Takashiki. From Japan in Sapporo, Japan. August the 3rd, 1985, Jungku Chan wins on points over 15 rounds against Francisco Montiel from Mexico in Seoul, Korea. November the 10th, 1985, Jungku Chan from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against George Cano from Mexico in Dijon, Korea. So, I'm about to hear now. So, April the 3rd, 1986, Jungku Chan wins on points over 12 rounds against German Tours in Kwaju, Kwangju, Korea. And then we've got September the 13th, 1986, Jungku Chan wins on points over 12 rounds against Francisco Montiel in Seoul, Korea.
in December the 14th, 1986. Junku Chan wins in the fifth round against uh, referee stops the match against Hideyuki Ohashi from Japan in Incheon, Korea. In April the 19th, 1987, Junku Chan wins in the sixth round. Referee stops the match against Efren Pinto from Mexico in Seoul, Korea. Then June. 28th, 1987, Jungkook Chan from Korea wins in the 10th round against Augustin Garcia from Colombia. 10th round, he wins in Seoul, Korea. December 13th, 1987, Jungkook Chan wins on points over 12 rounds in, against Isidro Perez from Mexico. In Seoul, Korea, then June the 27th, 1988, Jungkook Chan wins in the eighth round. Referee stops the match against Hideyuki Ohashi. Uh, that was in Tokyo, Japan, in October 1988. Chang relinquishes the title for health reasons. So December the 11th, 1988, German Tours wins on points over 12 rounds in Sun Jung Kan from Korea, in Seoul, Korea, for the vacant title. Then March the 19th, 1989, Yul Woo Lee from Korea wins in the ninth round against German Tours. That was in Tijon, Korea. Then June the 25th, 1989, Humberto Gonzalez from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds against Yu Wu Li from Korea in Seoul, Korea. Then December the 9th, 1989, Humberto Gonzalez wins on points over 12 rounds against Jungkook Chan from Seoul, Korea in Seoul, Korea. So it was Jungkook Chan from Korea in Seoul, Korea. Then March 24th, 1990, Humberto Gonzalez from Mexico wins by KO in the third round against Francisco Tejador from Colombia in Mexico City, Mexico. June 4th, 1990, Humberto Gonzalez wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Luis Monzote from Cuba in Los Angeles. July 24th, 1990, Humberto Gonzalez wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the match against John Kien Lim from Korea in Los Angeles. Fifth round, he stops John Kum Lim from Korea. Fifth round, referee stops the match. August 26th, 1990, Humberto Gonzalez wins by KO. <coughs> in the eighth round against George Rivera from Mexico in Cancun, Mexico, December the 19th, 1990. Rolando Pascua from the Philippines wins by KO in the sixth round against Humberto Gonzalez. In Inglewood, California, March 25th, 1991, Melcher Cobb Castro from Mexico wins in the 10th round. Referee stops the match against Rolando Pascua in Inglewood. Then June 3rd, 1991, Humberto Gonzalez from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds against Melchor Cobb Castro. And that was in Las Vegas, Nevada. January 27th, 1992, Humberto Gonzalez wins on points over 12 rounds against Domingo Sosa, Dominican Republic. It's in Los Angeles. 
December the 7th, 1992, Humberto Gonzalez wins in a 12th round. The referee stops the match against Kwang Sun Kim from Korea in Seoul, Korea. September 14th, 1992, Humberto Gonzalez wins in the second round. The referee stops the match against Napa Kiat Wan Chai from Thailand in Los Angeles, California. December the 7th, 1992, Humberto Gonzalez wins on points over 12 rounds against Melchior Cobb Castro in Los Angeles, California. In March the 13th, 1993, Michael Carbajal wins in the seventh round by KO against Humberto Gonzalez. Uh, the Olympian Michael Carbajal uh, wins against Mar Humberto Gonzalez in Las Vegas, Nevada. A seventh round KO for Carbajal for the WBC and IBF titles. Now we go just to the WBA. Um, August the 23rd, 1975. James Rios from Panama wins on points over 15 rounds against Rigoberto Marcano from Venezuela in Panama City, Panama for the vacant title. In January the 3rd, 1976, James Rios from uh, James Rios from Panama wins on points over 15 rounds against Kazunori Tenrui from Japan in Kagoshima, Japan. July the 1st, 1976, Jean Garzman from Dominican Republic wins on points over 15 rounds against James Rios in Santa Domingo, Do Dominican Republic. October the 10th, 1976, Yoko Gushikin from Japan wins by KO in the seventh round against Jean Guzman in Kofu, Japan. Then January the 30th, 1977, Yoko Gushikin wins on points over 15 rounds against James Rios in Tokyo, Japan. Then May the 22nd, 1977, Yoko Gushiken from Japan wins. May 22nd, 1977, Yoko Gushiken wins on points and 15 rounds against Rigoberto Marcano from Venezuela in Sapporo, Japan. October the 9th, 1977. Yoko Gashikin wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Montsayam. Montsayam Mahachai from Thailand. Yo Yoko Gashikin wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Montsayam Mahachai from Thailand in Oyota, Japan. January the 29th, 1978, Yoko Gashikin wins in the 14th round. Referee stops the match against Anisito Vargas uh, from Philippines in Nagoya, Japan. May the 7th, 1978, Yoko Gashikin wins. May the 7th, 1978, Yoko Gashikin from Japan wins. In the 13th round, referee stops the match against James Rios. 13th round, 13th round, referee stops the match for Gashikin against James Rios in Hiroshima, Japan. So October the 15th, 1978, Yoko Gashikin from Japan wins by KO in the fourth round against Sang Sang E Chung from Korea in Tokyo, Japan. So, January the 7th, 1979, Yoko Gashikin wins by KO in the seventh round against Rigoberto Marcano in Kawasaki, Japan. April the 8th, 1979, Yoko Gashikin wins in the seventh round 
referee stops the match against Alfonso Lopez from Panama in Tokyo, Japan. July 29, 1979, Yoko wins in the 15th round. So he wins over 15 rounds on points against Rafael Pedroza in Kitakyoshi, Japan. October 28, 1979, Yoko Kashikin from Japan wins in the seventh round. The referee stops the match against Tito Abella from the Philippines in Tokyo, Japan. So, January 27, 1980, Yoko Kashikin wins on points over 15 rounds against Yong Hyun Kim from Korea in Osaka, Japan. June 1, 1980, Yoko Kashikin wins in the 8th round, referee stops the match against Martin Vargas from, I think that's that Chile or China, one or two. CH, not sure, so that's in Kochi City, Japan. October the 12th, 1980, Yoko Shikin wins on points, over 15 rounds, against Pedro Flores <coughs> from Mexico in Kanazawa, Japan. I think that's when he's, he comes to the end of his reign. Yeah, that's right. Memory serves me well. So he had a good old reign there. One, two, three. 13 or 14 or so there. Top fight, so we go. <coughs> so yeah. May the 8th, 1981. Pedro Flores from Mexico wins in a 12th round by retirement against Yoko Gashikin in Okinawa, Japan. Gets beat on his home ground. July the 19th, 1981, Hwan Jin Kim from Korea wins in the 13th round. The referee stops the match against Pedro Flores in Tiago, Korea. October the 11th, 1981, Hwan Jin Kim from Korea wins on points over 15 rounds against Alfonso Lopez in Dijong, Korea. December the 16th, 1981, Katsuo. Kashiki from Japan wins on points over 15 rounds against Huan Jin Kim in Sendai, Japan. April 4th, 1982, Katsuo Tokashiki wins on points over 15 rounds against Loop Madeira from Mexico in Sendai, Japan. July the 7th, 1982, Katsuo Takashi from Japan wins by KO in the 8th round against Masahara Imami from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. October the 10th, 1982, Katsuo Takashiki from Japan wins on points over 15 rounds against Sung Nam Kim from Korea in Tokyo, Japan. January the 5th, 1983, January the 5th, 1983, Katsuo Takishi, Takashiki from Japan, wins on points over 12 rounds, sorry, over 15 rounds, against Juan Jim Kin from Korea in Kyoto, Japan. April the 10th, 1983, Katsuo Takashiki from Japan draws over 15 rounds against Loop Madeira in Tokyo, Japan. Then July the 10th, 1983, Loop Madeira wins a technical decision in the fourth round against Katsuo Takashiki from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. October 23rd, 1983, Loop Madeira wins on points over 12 rounds against Katsuo Tokashiki from Sapporo, Japan. Then May 19th, 1984, Francisco Curos from Dominican Republic wins by KO against Loop Madeira in Maracaibo, Venezuela. August 9th, 18th, 1984, Francisco 
Churros from Dominican Republic wins by KO against Victor Sierra from Panama in Panama City, Panama. May the 29th, 1985, Joey Olivo from the US wins on points over 15 rounds against Francisco Quarros in Miami, Florida. July, July. Yeah, so where was I? So August the 18th, 1984, Francisco Quarles wins by KO in his second round against Victor Sierra at Panama City. Panama, Panama City, that was in, in Panama. Then we got March 29th, 1985, Joey Olivo from the US wins on points over 15 rounds against Francisco Curoz in Miami, Florida. July 28th, 1985, Joey Olivo from the US wins on points over 15 rounds against Moon Jin Choi from Korea in Seoul, Korea. Then got a long reigning champ here. Coming up, you woo you. So, December the 8th, 1985. Myung woo you from Korea wins some points over 15 rounds against Joey Olivo in Seoul, Korea. March the 9th, 1986. Myu woo you. Wins on points over 15 rounds against Joe De Jesus from Puerto Rico in Suwon, Korea. Then June the 14th, 1986, Miu Wu Yu wins in the 12th round. Referee stops the match against Tomihiro Kiyuni from Japan in Incheon, Korea. Then we got February 7th. No. November the 30th, 1986, Miu Wu Yu wins on points over 15 rounds against Mario Di Marco from Argentina in Seoul, Korea. Then March the 1st, 1987, Miu Wu Yu from Korea wins in the first round. Ruffy stops the match against Eduardo Junon from Panama in Seoul, Korea. June the 7th, 1987, Miu Wu Yu wins in the 15th round. Ruffy stops the match against Benedicto Murillo. Murillo from uh, Panama in Pusan, Korea. September the 20th, 1987, Miu Wu Yu wins by KO in the eighth round against Rodolfo Blanco from Colombia in Incheon, Korea. February 7th, 1988, Miu Wu Yu from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Willabaldo Salsa from Mexico in Seoul, Korea. Then June the 12th, 1988, Miu Wu Yu from Korea wins on points against Jos the Jesus in Seoul, Korea. The August the 28th, 1988, Miu Wu Yu from Korea wins by KO in his sixth round against Put. So Miu Wu Yu wins by KO against Put. Thanakorn from Thailand. Put Athoya Thanakorn from Korea in Pusan, Korea. Miu Wu Yu from Korea wins in the sixth round by KO. So we got November the 6th, 1988. Miu Wu Yu wins by in the seventh round by KO against Baha Udin from Indonesia in Seoul, Korea. Then February the 12th, 1989, Miu Wu Yu from Korea wins. In the tenth round, referee stops the match against Katsumi Komiyama from Japan in Shonju, Korea. Now June 11th, 1989, Miu Wu Yu wins on points over 12 rounds, it's Mario Di Marco 
in Seoul, Korea. So I'm going to turn over this page now. So we're still with Mu Wu Yu. He was a long reigning champ, he was. Uh, Mu Wu Yu from Korea. A lot of these don't even get their mentions. Uh, especially a long reigning titleist like Mu Wu Yu. Lovely. So I'm going to go from here. Uh, September 24th. 1989, Mu Wu Yu wins by KO in 11th round against Kanban Siaho from Japan in Sombo, Korea. Then January the 14th, 1990, Mu Wu Yu wins in 7th round, roughly stops the match against Ikashi. Takashima from Japan in Seoul, Korea. Then April 29th, 1990, Mu Wu Yu from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Silva, Silvio Gamez from Venezuela in Seoul, Korea. Then November the 10th, 1990, Mu Wu Yu wins on points over 12 rounds against Silvio Gamez from Venezuela in Seoul, Korea. Then April the 28th, 1991, Mu Wu Yu wins in the 10th round. Roughly stops the match against Kashkon Dan Futhai. Dan Futhai from Thailand. So April the 28th, 1991, Myung Wu Yu from Korea wins in the 10th round. Roughly stops the match. Against Kash Kong Dum Futhai from Thailand in Masan, Korea. Referee stops the match in 10th in favour of Mu Wu Yu. Now, remember this guy, Hiroki Locker. So, so Hiroki Locker from Japan. So, December the 17th, 1991, Hiroki Loka from Japan wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Myung Wu Yu from Korea in Osaka, Japan. March the 31st, 1992, Hiroki Loka wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Nao Chunako from the Philippines in Osaka, Japan. January the 15th, 1992, Hiroki Loka from Japan wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Bong Jung Kim from Korea in Osaka, Japan. Then November the 18th, 1992, Myung Woo Yu from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Hiroki Locker from Japan, as in Osaka, Japan. Then July 25th, 1993, Myung Woo Yu from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Yuichi. Hosono from Japan in Seoul, Korea. October the 21st, 1993, Leo Gamez from Venezuela wins. In the ninth round, the referee stops the fight against Shiro Yahiro from Japan in Tokyo, Japan for the vacant title. Then February the 6th, 1994, Leo Gamez from Venezuela Wins in the seventh round, roughly stops the match against Jean Tours from Panama, Panama City, Panama. June the 27th, 1994, Leo Gamez draws with Kaj Racha Bandit from Thailand. So June the 27th, 1994, Leo Gamez draws over 12 rounds with Kaj Racha Bandit from Thailand, in Bangkok, Thailand. October the 9th, 1994, Leo Gamez 
wins in a sixth round. Roughly snaps the match against Pichetnoy. Pichetnoy. Fifth bang. Prachan from Thailand in Bangkok, Thailand. So Mio Gomez wins in the sixth round. Roughly stops the match against Pichitnoy. Sith Bang Prachan from Thailand in Bangkok, Thailand. Then February the 4th, 1995. Heong Choi from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Leo Gomez in Ulsan, Korea. February the 4th, 1995, Hyong Choi from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Keji Yamaguchi in Osaka, Japan. So January the 13th, 1996, Carlos Murillo from Panama wins on points over 12 rounds against Hyong Choi. That's in Miami, Florida. Then March the 15th, 1996, Carlos Murillo wins in the 10th round. Referee stops the match against Joe Scarcer, Sia Bernal from Colombia in Panama City, Panama. May the 21st, 1996, Kieji. Yamaguchi from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Carlos Murillo in Osaka, Japan. Then December the 3rd, 1996, Pashit Noi Sith Bang Prachan from Thailand wins in the second round against Kieji Yamaguchi in Osaka, Japan. Then June the 28th, 1997, Puchit Noi Sith Bang Prachan from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds in Sang Chow Lee from Korea in Ratchaburi, Thailand. Then we got March the 1st, 1998. Puchit Noi Sith Bang Prachan from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Kaj Chart Bandit from Thailand. In Bangkok, Thailand. Then Chuck Bandit also boxed as Hadio CP Gym because they take the names of the sponsors and the gym sometimes. So you might see him in that name later. October the 17th, 1998. Pichnoi Sith Bang Prachan from Thailand wins in the eighth round by retirement against T Kill Lee from Korea. In Bangkok, Thailand, that was retirement in the eighth round. Then, February the 20th, 1999, Pichnoi Sith Bang Pracham from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Jama Gamboa from the Philippines in Samyu, Thailand. Then, February the 5th, 2000, Pichnoi Sith Bang Pracham from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Sang Il Yang. From Korea in Bangkok, Thailand. Then July 2000, Pichnoi Sith Bang Pracham is stripped of his title for failing to meet the number one contender. So August the 12th, 2000, Biebes Mendoza from Colombia wins in the seventh round by disqualification against Rosendo Alvarez from Nicaragua, Las Vegas, Nevada. Then March the 3rd, 2001, Rosendo Alvarez wins on points over 12 rounds against Biebes Mendoza. That's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then January 19th, 2002, Rosendo Alvarez wins over 12 rounds. Referee stops the match against Pichnoi Sith Bang Prachan from Thailand in Miami, Florida. Then March 
31st, 2003. Rosendo Alvarez wins some points over 12 rounds against Viebis Mendoza from Colombia in Little Rock, Arkansas. So the IBF title, the IBF title, we've got, yes, so we'll go from here, December the 10th, 1983, Dodi Penezola from the Philippines wins the 11th round against Satoshi Shingaki from Japan in Osaka, Japan for the vacant title. Then May the 13th, 1984, Dodi Penezola from the Philippines wins the 9th round, referee stops the match against Joe Hong Kim from Korea in Seoul, Korea. November the 16th, 1984, Dodi Penezola from the Philippines wins on points over 15 rounds against Jum Hoang Choi from Korea in Manila, Philippines. Then October the 12th, 1985, Dodi Penezola from the Philippines wins by KO against Yanni Hagala Dokalamo from Indonesia. That was in Jakarta, Indonesia. Then July 1986, IBF strips Dodi Penezola for challenging for the WBA Flight, flyweight title. So that's the weight above. December the 7th, 1986, Jam Hwan Joy from Korea wins the points over 15 rounds against Chu Wun Park from Korea in Pusan, Korea for the vacant title. March the 29th, 1987, Jam Hwan Joy wins on points over 15 rounds against Taki Makalos from the Philippines in Seoul, Korea. Then July the 5th, 1987, Jam Hwan Choi wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Shoshi, Toshihiko Matsuta from Japan in Seoul, Korea. August the 9th, 1987, Jam Hwan Choi wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Azadin Anha from Indonesia and Jakarta in Indonesia. Jakarta, Indonesia, that was in. Then we got November the 5th, 1988. Taki Makalos wins on points over 12 rounds against Jam Hwan Choi uh, from Korea in Manila, Philippines. May 2nd, 1989. Muang Chai Kikatesem from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Taki Makalos. That was in Bangkok, Thailand. October the 6th, 1989. Muang Chai Kikatesem. Wins in the seventh round, the referee stops the match against Taki Makalos, Bangkok, Thailand. January the 19th, 1990. Wang Chai, Kit Kasem, wins in the third round, the referee stops the match against Chung Ji Lee from Korea. The referee stops the match there, Bangkok, Thailand. April the 10th, 1990. Wang Chai, Kit Kasem. Wins on points over 12 rounds. From Thailand he was. Kit Kassem wins on points over 12 rounds against Abdi Pohan from Indonesia and Bangkok, Thailand. July 29, 1990, Michael Carbajal from the US wins in the seventh round. Referee stops the match against El Muang Chai Kit Kassem from Thailand in Phoenix, Arizona. December the 8th, 1990, Michael Carbajal wins in the fourth round by KO against Leon Salazar from Panama in Scottsdale, Arizona. February 17th, 1991, Michael Carbajal from the US wins by KO in the second round against Nacario Santos from Mexico in Las Vegas, Nevada. May, uh, March the 17th, 1991, Michael Carbajal wins on points over 12 rounds against Javier Vargas from Mexico in Las Vegas, Nevada. May the 10th, 1991. Michael Carbajal wins on points over 12 rounds against Hector Patry from Argentina in Davenport. February 15th, 1992. Michael Carbajal wins on points over 12 rounds against Marcos Pancheco from Mexico in Phoenix, Arizona. December 12, 1992, Michael Garbajal wins in the 8th round. Referee stops the match against Robinson J. 
Cuestas from Panama at Phoenix, Arizona, March the 13th, 1993. Michael Carbajal wins by KO in his seventh round against Humberto Gonzalez in Las Vegas, Nevada for the WBC and IBF titles. Then we got the IBF and WBC titles together. June 17th, 1993, Michael Carbajal wins by KO in the seventh round against Wang Sung Kim from Korea in Las Vegas, Nevada. October the 30th, 1993, Michael Gar Carbajal wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the match against Domingo Sosa from Dominican Republic in Phoenix, Arizona. Then February the 19th, 1994, Humberto Gonzalez wins on points over 12 rounds against Michael Carbajal. Travel rounds points decision in Inglewood, California. September the 10th, 1994, Humberto... September 10th, 1994, Humberto Gonzalez wins in seventh round by retirement against Jean Cordoba from Argentina in Lake Tahoe. Then, November 12th, 1994, Humberto Gonzalez wins on points over 12 rounds against Michael Carbajal in Mexico City, Mexico. Then we've got March 31st, 1995, Humberto Gonzalez wins in the fifth round by KO against Jesus Zuniga from Colombia. Fifth round KO in Anaheim. Then we've got... July the 15th, 1995, Saman Sarjatarong, remember him, from Thailand, wins in the seventh round, referee stops the match against Humberto Gonzalez, Inglewood, California, then November the 12th, 1995, Saman Sarjatarong from Thailand, wins by KO in the fourth round, against Yuichi Hosono from Japan, again KO in the fourth round for Sarjatarong in Ratchamburi, Thailand. So January 1996, Saman Sarjataran relinquishes the IBF title. Now the WBO title, March 19th, 1989. Jose de Jesus from Puerto Rico wins in the ninth round. Referee stops the match against Fernando Martinez from Mexico in San Juan for the vacant title. Lovely. So we got October 21st, 1989. Jose de Jesus wins on points over 12 rounds against Isidro Perez from Mexico in San Juan. May the 6th, 1990, Josh Dizzy Jesus wins by KO in the fifth round against Ali Galvez from uh, CH. I think that's China, I think. Or it might be Chile, I'm not too sure. So, Tao Cajono, that was in. In Chile or China, I don't know. Sounds more like Chile, but November the 10th, 1990, uh, Jose de Jesus wins in the seventh round. A referee stops the match against Abdi Prohan in Medan, Indonesia. Then May 1992, de Jesus was stripped to the title for failure to defend it. Then July 31st, 1992, Jose Camacho from Puerto Rico wins by KO. In the sixth round against Eduardo Vallejo from Mexico in San Juan for the vacant title.
May the 6th, 1990. Yes, yeah, so we've done that one. So November the 10th, 1990. Jose de Jesus wins in the seventh round against Abdi Pohan in Medan, Indonesia. Then May 1992, de Jesus was stripped of the title for his failure to defend it. Then, so. July 1992, Josie Camacho from Puerto Rico wins by KO against Eduardo Vallejo from Mexico in San Juan for the vacant title. From here, February the 2nd, 1994, Josu Camacho wins on points over 12 rounds against Paul Weir from Scotland. Never seen him fight uh, in Glasgow, Scotland. This is then we got uh, July the 15th, 1994, Michael Carvajal wins on points over 12 rounds against Josie Camacho. That was in Phoenix, Arizona, October. October 1994 Carbohol would vacate the title October 1994 Carbohol vacated the title to challenge for the IBF and WBC championships so November 23rd 1994 Paul Weir wins on points over 12 rounds against Paul Olden from South Africa in Irving, California for the vacant title. So, April the 5th, 1995, Paul Weir wins on points over 12 rounds against Rick Magralmo from the Philippines in Irving. Then July the 15th, 1995, Jake Matala, baby Jake Matala from South Africa wins a technical decision over five rounds against Paul Weir, uh, as in Glasgow, Scotland, then April 13th, 1996, Baby Jake Matala wins in the 10th round, roughly stops the match against Paul Weir, remember seeing that fight on TV? That was in Liverpool, England. Then February 8th, 1997, Jake Matala, baby Jake Matala wins on points over 12 rounds against Mickey Cantwell. I remember seeing him in the ABAs when he's an amateur. Um, and that is in Millwall, England, this one. So, May 1997, baby Jake Matala relinquishes the title when he, den he denied a defence against Michael Carbajal. So, May the 31st, 1997, Jesus Chong from Mexico wins in the second round against Eric Griffin. Referee stops the match in the second round against Griffin for Jesus Chong. That was in the US in Las Vegas, Nevada for the vacant title. Then August 25th, 1997, Melchor Cobb Castro from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds against Jesus Chong in Las Vegas. Angeles Then January 17th 1998 Jean Cordoba wins on points over 12 rounds against Melchor Cobb Castro in Santiago del Estero Argentina Then May the 9th 1998 Jean Cordova wins on points over 12 rounds against Sandro Vido from Argentina in Santiago del Estero, Argentina. December the 5th, 1998, George Acra from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds against George John Cordova in Tijuana, Mexico in April the 17th, 1999. 
George Acra from Mexico wins in the sixth round. Referee stops the match against Salvatore Fanny in Italy, in Sassari, Italy. Then July 31st, 1999, Michael Carvajal wins in the 11th round. Referee stops the match against George Acra in Tijuana, Mexico. Now, January 2000, Carvajal retired. February 19th, 2000, Hawk Mekapula from South Africa wins on points over 12 rounds against Jacob Matala from South Africa in Brackpan, South Africa. March 2000, for the vacant title after Makapula relinquishes it for business reasons. July 22nd, 2000, Will Grisby So July 22nd, 2000, Will Grisby wins on points over 12 rounds against Nelson Diapa from Puerto Rico in Miami, Florida. October 2000, for the vacant title, Grisby stripped of the title for failure in the dope test. From Puerto Rico, fails a dope test. So February 3rd, 2001, Andy... Tapanas from the Philippines draws over 12 rounds against Fahan Sakirin from Thailand in Las Vegas, Nevada for the vacant title. Then April the 14th, 2001, Nelson Diepa from Puerto Rico wins the 11th round. Referee stops the match. in the 11th round against Andy Tabernas in New York. Then we got uh, September 29, 2001. Nelson Diepa wins in points over 12 rounds against Fahan Sakiren. That was in New York. Then August 24, 2002. Nelson Diepa gets a technical draw with John Molina in the second round. And from Colombia, I've seen Carolina, so it must have something happened, a foul or something. And it's, again, it's too soon to give the decision, so it goes to a draw. A yeah, you can't be a technical uh, win or loss then, because it's too soon happened. Without disqualification, obviously, that's what happens, accidental. So, March 20th, 2004, Nelson Diepa wins by KO in the first round against Kerman Gradia in Colombia in... Guyanabo, Guyanabo, Puerto Rico. Then June 30th, 2004, Nelson Diepa wins on points over 12 rounds against Ulysses Soles from Mexico in Louisville, Kentucky. Then January 29th, 2005, Nelson Diepa wins by KO in 11th round against Alex Sanchez from Puerto Rico in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. So we're going from here. April the thirtieth, two thousand and five, Hugo Cazares from Mexico wins in the tenth round by a technical decision against Nelson Diapa in Hato Rey, Puerto Rico. Then August 20th, 2005, Hugo Cazares wins in the eighth round, referee stops the match against Alex Sanchez in Ponce, Puerto Rico. October 29th, 2005, Hugo Cazares wins by KO in the sixth round against Kiachon Sorvoropin from Thailand in Tuscon, Arizona. Then June 30th, 2006, Hugo Cazares wins in the first rounds by KO against Domingo Gorlan from the Dominican Republic in Tuscan, Arizona. Then September 30th, 2006, 
Hugo Casares wins in 10th round. Referee stops the match against Nelson Diepa in Cagos, Puerto Rico. Then May the 4th, 2007, Hugo Casares wins in second round against Wilf. Referee stops the match in second round for Casares against Wilfredo Valdez from Colombia in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then August 25th, 2007, Alvin. Ivan Calderon from Puerto Rico wins in points over 12 rounds against Hugo Cazares in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. December the 1st, 2007, Ivan Calderon wins in points over 12 rounds against Jun Escure from Mexico in Albert, Albuquerque, New Mexico. April the 5th, 2008, El Ivan Calderon wins in points over 12 rounds against Nelson Diepa in San Juan, Puerto Rico. August the 30th, 2008, Ivan Calderon wins a technical decision in the seventh round against Hugo Cazares in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. June the 13th, 2009, Ivan Calderon gets a technical draw over six rounds against Rodel Mayol in New York. Then September the 12th, 2009, Ivan Calderon gets a win of a technical decision uh, against Rodale Mayol. So that's a weird one. This is in Hato Rey, Puerto Rico. WBA also sanctioned the interim title fight. So December the 19th, 2009, John Real Casimero from the Philippines. Wins in the 11th round against Cesar Sanchilla in Managua, Nicaragua. Then June 12, 2010, Ivan Calderon wins in points against Jesus Reed from Mexico in New York. The WBA super champion Giovanni Segura took the WBO belt from Ivan Calderon in the unification belt. The WBO sanctioned the following for the interim title. July 24th, 2010, Ramon Garcia Harrell wins on points over 12 rounds against John Real Casimero in Los Mochis, Mexico. Then September 25th, 2010, Ramon Garcia Harrell wins on points over 12 rounds against Manuel Vargas from Mexico in Tijuana, Mexico. Then October the 30th, 2010, Jesus Gialas wins on points over 12 rounds against Omar Soto in Cartagena, Colombia. December the 18th, 2010, Ramon Garcia Harrell wins on points over 12 rounds against Omar Soto in Campeche, Mexico. February the 5th, 2011, Jesus Gialas wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Ramon Garcia Harals in Cartagena, Colombia. Then April 2nd, 2011, Giovanni Segura wins in the third round by KO against Ivan Calderon in Mexicali, Mexico. Segura vacated the interim title. Interim and in, sorry, Segura vacated the interim and interim champion Jesus Giels was upgraded to full champion. So we go to here. April the 30th, 2011, Ramon Garcia Harrell from Mexico wins by KO in the fourth round against Jesus Gelez from Colombia, Mexico City, Mexico. Then October the 8th, 2011, Donnie Nietes from the Philippines, wins on points over 12 rounds against Ramon Garcia Harrells in, in Bacolod City, Philippines. June 2nd, 2012, Donny Nietes from the Philippines wins on points over 12 rounds against Philippe Salguero from Mexico in Pasay City, Philippines. Then May 2nd, 2013, Donny Nietes draws over 12 rounds against Moises Funtes from Mexico in Cebu, Philippines. So, the WBA sanctioned the following for the interim title.
So November 30th, 2013, Donny Nietes wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Sami Gutierrez. From Mexico in Quezon City, Philippines, May the 10th, 2014, Donny Nietes from the Philippines wins by KO in the ninth round against Moises Funtis in Pasay City, Philippines. November the 15th, 2014, Donny Nietes wins in the seventh round by retirement against Carlos Velard from New Mexico in Kebu City, Philippines. Then March 28, 2015, Donny Nietes wins in ninth round by retirement against Gilberto Parra from Mexico in Quezon City, Philippines. July 11th, 2015, Donny Nietes wins on points over eight rounds against Francisco Rodriguez Jr. from Mexico in Cebu City, Philippines. October the 17th, 2015, Donny Nietes wins on points over 12 rounds against Jean Alegio from Mexico in Carson. May 28th, 2016, Donny Nietes wins in the fifth round against Raul Garcia. And that was in Barcolod City, Philippines. December the 31st, oh no, May the 28th, 2016, Donny Nietes wins by retirement in the fifth round against Raul Garcia, Mexico in Bacold City, Philippines. December 31st, 2016, Kosi Tanaka from Japan wins in the fifth round against Moises Funtis from Mexico, roughly stops the match in Gifu, Japan. Then May 20th, 2017, Kosi Tanaka from Japan wins in points over 12 rounds against Angel Acosta from Puerto Rico in Nagoya, Japan. Gonna go up here to finish. So September the 13th, 2017, Kosi Tanaka wins in the ninth round, roughly stops the match against Shay Shayanram. Uh, sorry, so September 13th, 2017, Koshi Tanaka wins in the ninth round against Rang San Shayanram from Thailand in Osaka, Japan. Ninth round roughly starts the match there. December the 2nd, 2017, Koshi Tanaka wins by KO in the 10th round against Jun Alejo. 10th round KO in New York. The IBF title, so squeezes in January 1996. Samat Sarjotaram relinquishes the IBF version. So we got March 16th, 1996, Michael Carvajal wins on points over 12 rounds against Mount Cheryl Cobb Castro, Las Vegas, Nevada for the vacant title. September 13th, 1996, Michael Carvajal wins in the 8th round, referee stops the match against Julio Cor Coronel from Colombia in Des Moines. And then October 12th, 1996, Michael Carvajal wins in the 5th round by KO against Thomas Riviera from Mexico and Anaheim. Then January the 18th, 1997, Mauricio Pastrana from Colombia wins on points over 12 rounds against Michael Carbajal in Las Vegas, Nevada. May 1997, Pastrana, Mauricio Pastrana from Colombia is strict for failing to make weight for the defence against Manuel Herrera, Herrera from the Dominican Republic. August the 30th, 1997, Manuel Herrera from the Dominican Republic gets a technical draw over nine rounds against Anis Roga from Indonesia. And that was in Surabaya, Indonesia. So December 13th, 1997, Muriso Pastrana wins by KO in the third round against Manuel Herrera in Pompano Beach, Florida for the vacant title. Then April 30th, 1998, Muriso Pastrana wins by KO in the fourth round against Anis Roger, Roger in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, August 29th, <clears throat> 1998, Murcio Prostrana from Colombia wins by KO in the 
Well, Strip have found to make his making his way against Carlos Marino. So December the 16th, 1998, Will Grisby from the US wins some points against Ratanapal Sarvaropin from Thailand. 12 rounds point decision in Fort Lauderdale for the vacant title. So March 6th, March 6th, 1999, Will Grisby from the US wins some points over 12 rounds against Carmelo Cesares from the Philippines in St. Paul. In October the 2nd, 1999, Ricardo Lopez, the great Ricardo Lopez, one of the best straw rakes ever uh, from Mexico, it's up here in the higher weight division, wins some points over 12 rounds against Will Grisby in Las Vegas, Nevada. December the 2nd, 2000, Ricardo Lopez wins in the third round. Ruffy stops the match against Ratanapol Sarvoropin from the Thailand. Uh, Ricardo Lopez Stops Ratanapol Sarvoropin from Thailand in the third round. Ruffy stops the match in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then September 29th, 2001, Ricardo Lopez wins by KO in the eighth round against Zalani Patello from South Africa in New York. Then November 2002, Ricardo Lopez announces his retirement. So the WBC title. Uh, February 24th, 1996, Saman Sarjot Ram from Thailand wins in the fourth round. Ruffy stops the match against Antonio Perez from Mexico in Cha Chang Sao, Thailand. April 27th, 1996, Saman Sarjot Sar Ram wins in the seventh round. Ruffy stops the match against Joma Gamboa from the Philippines in Maha Sarakam, Thailand. In August 10th, 1996, Saman Sarjot Ram from Thailand wins in the ninth round. Ruffy stops the match against Shiro Yahiro from Japan in Fitsanaluk, Thailand. October the 19th, 1996. Summon Sarjotron from Thailand wins by KO against Ali Galvez from, I think that's China. Uh, Summit Prak, or it could be Chile. And then that was in Summit Prakpan. Uh, in Thailand. So December the 14th, 1996, Saman Sar Jotaran from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Manuel Herrera from Dominican Republic in Chiang Rai, uh, Thailand. Then you've got April the 13th, 1997, Saman Sar Jotaran from Thailand wins in the seventh round against Julio Coronel, Coronel from Colombia in Chi in Chiayampram, Thailand. So let's go to the end of Saman Sarjotron's reign and then finish there. So May 31st, 1997, Saman Sarjotron wins in the fourth round. Ruffy stops the match against Mazus Mazukisi Morale from South Africa in Pechabun, Thailand. March 8th, 1998, Saman Sarjotron wins in the fourth round. Ruffy stops the match against Shiro Yahiro from Japan in Yokohama, Japan. Then November the 26th, 1998, Summon Sarjotaran from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Ladislao Vasquez from Mexico. 12 rounds point decision in Patham Thani, uh, Thailand. Then we finish here, the end of his reign, October the 17th, 1999, Yo Sam Choi from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Saman Sarjot, Saman Sarjotaran from Thailand in Seoul, Korea. So that's the end of the first light flyaway boxing title history videos. Bang.